Welcome back to Yacht Addiction. The yacht in front of me is a Riviera 4800 Sport Yacht Platinum Edition. Riviera is Australia's premium luxury yacht builder, and this yacht absolutely lives up to that name. We're going to do a full tour today, thanks to One Water Yacht Group. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So right at the back of the yacht, you do have a hydraulic swim platform, and you can also see I pre-opened the tender garage. In the back of the garage, there is a winch system, which will release this tender right into the water and pull it right back up into the garage whenever you're done. There are stairs into the cockpit on either side. And under this flap, we have controls for the swim platform as well as the garage door. So if we push this here, you'll see and hear that the garage door is closing. Now that that's closed, let's step up into the cockpit. I have partially removed most of these covers. So you can see you have a seating area right here. And then opposite of that, you have an L-shaped seating area and this beautiful table. Overhead, you have half hardtop and half canvas top. And there are some skylights in the hardtop. And this is a very impressive catering area here in the cockpit. It's one of the best looking grills I've ever seen on a yacht like this. So if we open up this entire section, you can see you have multiple cooking options and a sink. And then underneath this, you have a fridge and ice maker and a little bit of storage. You have your battery switches in this compartment. And you also have dual joystick docking controls on either side in this cockpit. Makes it very easy to dock when you're stern tube berthing. You can access the engines through this main hatch on the floor, but there are also hatches on either sides. So you have plenty of engine room access depending on what you need to work on. We will check out the engines of this yacht, but first let's make our way into the main salon. Now the AC is currently on, so we have the doors closed, but this entire glass pane will fold up into the ceiling, opening up this entire space. Let's step inside. Now that we're in that cool air, we can relax and look at this beautiful aft galley. The first thing I noticed on the countertops, you have this little bit of indentation there, and that's great for catching spills. You have a convection oven as well as a dishwasher. You have a couple of drawer refrigerators. your trash bin and sink. There is some storage overhead. And then you have more cold storage right here, as well as some glassware storage. There's plenty of lighting in this area, as well as plenty of natural light. And Riviera added these blue LEDs on the ceiling. So your dining area is to starboard. You have a U-shaped seating area, and this table can be lowered. You can add an extra cushion here, so you have an extra berth. And then on this yacht, the helm position was actually pretty interesting. Normally you see the helm on the starboard side, but on this yacht, it's to port. You have some fantastic twin seats up here. You have twin Garmin multifunction displays, your Fusion stereo system, 
It has a C zone system, so you can monitor certain things like your batteries, your fresh water tanks. You can also control certain things like your lights, your AC, all kinds of options from here. You have your VHF radio and your steering wheel. You have controls for the stabilization system right here, as well as your IPS joystick and your throttle control. And if you don't want to lean forward to use the touchscreens, you can sit back, relax, and use the included Garmin remote. Very well equipped helm station. You also have the compass forward. So now we're going to head down to the cabins and I think you're going to be quite surprised with this one. I do believe you have some options when it comes to two or three cabins. However, this one elected for a really interesting two cabin layout. First off, you have another little salon area right here and this faces a TV mounted on the wall. And then your master cabin is actually forward. You have your large bed with some built-in storage underneath. You have closets on either side. And then of course, it has its own ensuite. You do have a hatch overhead that brings in some natural light. You also have this little dressing area. We have your mirror and some more storage. Lastly, you have the TV up on the wall. Now the second cabin is what I think you'll find pretty interesting. Now the second cabin doesn't have an ensuite, it uses this day head, although you still have a separate shower stall. But if we head into the second cabin, I won't tease you any longer, you'll see the interesting arrangement in here. You actually have three single berths in this room. I thought this was a fantastic option for a family with kids. Now you don't have full standing headroom in this room. You have to kneel over for these two berths. And then I am semi crouched in this section. I'm about 5'10 or 5'11 on a good day. And you can see the top of my head barely brushes the ceiling in here. So it's not horrendous, but if you're over six feet tall, you might have some issues in here. They do have a closet on the wall. And then we step back out into this living area. So pretty cool arrangement there on the cabins. I was very surprised when I first saw that. Really quick, let's check what's in this storage section. So that is the interior of this yacht. Very impressed with it. But we still have to check out the bow. So there aren't handrails on either side, but you still feel pretty safe and secure walking up to the front. I'm always wary about falling in on these tours. It hasn't happened yet, fingers crossed. You have a large sun pad area up here. You can see the hatch in the master cabin. And then in these two lockers, you can see you have your salt water and fresh water connections. Your windless system. And a large fender locker. And your anchor chain storage. Let's head back on the port side. This leads us back into the cockpit. Now let's check out the engines on this yacht. So first thing you'll notice is the Cummins generator. You can barely see 
the Seakeeper stabilization system back there. It's a Seakeeper 6. This space is taken away from the tender garage, but that's why they added those extra hatches on either side. So you can still fully access all of the equipment you need to. Now this specific model has a pair of Volvo Penta D8 IPS 800s. They are 600 horsepower each and your top speed is about 34 knots. You can cruise at 25 with a 300 nautical mile range. That is the upgraded option. Standard on this yacht is a pair of IPS 700s which are about 550 horsepower each. So a nice little upgrade there. I am filming beforehand at the United States Power Boat Show in Annapolis, Maryland. So a lot of the boots are being set up, so you have to excuse that background noise. Let's close ourselves in and finish right here in the dining area. Thank you to One Water Yacht Group for letting me do the tour, and thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate all the likes and comments you leave down below. I'm always interested in hearing what you think of the boats, so make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think. And also like the video if you enjoyed it. Until next time.